Hi everyone, Eric here from VogelSocialMedia.com. I want to shoot out a video to you about using TweetDeck. If you are on Twitter and you haven't heard of TweetDeck, or you have heard of TweetDeck but you're not using it, I would highly recommend you check into it because it's such a useful tool. I can't even tell you um, and just how easy it is to follow people's tweets that you're only you know you're interested in and then also see who's at replying you right away in just a single view you can see real quickly uh, through TweetDeck and uh, some of the cool things is TweetDeck integrates with Facebook and MySpace so it'll automatically update those accounts as well you can set that up if you don't want them to you can also go into preferences and set that as well so as you can see, I have five different accounts linked up here to TweetDeck. You don't have to have multiple accounts, but it works great if you do. Uh, it's very easy to see all your different at replies in different columns and the different lists that you set up as well. So here, for instance, let's say we want to send out a tweet. I'll show you how easy that is to do here in TweetDeck. It also has an automatic URL shortener, which works great. So let's go to Mashable, one of my favorite social media sites. And here's a great article that I'd like to tweet out. I read it earlier, and I want to send this out to my social media followers. So I'll just highlight that title there, copy and paste that into here. And then I want to take the URL where that article is copy and paste that in and as you'll see it'll automatically shorten that URL. Now I can either send this to one of my accounts or two or three or four or all of my accounts at once. So once I hit enter it'll go to all of them. But since I just want this to send out to my social media account I will only highlight social media, press enter and it'll go out. Just like that. Pretty simple. And one of the other great reasons I like TweetDeck is you can set up groups. So you can click on how to set up groups is you can click search here. Brings up this window and you can click on group. Create a group name. Let's say I want to create a group name uh, called social media. Well, I'm already in use. So. Let's type social uh, network networking for example and then you select from your list whichever list you have highlighted up here it'll show everyone that you're following so you just click the people that you would like to follow from there push save group it'll create a new column and then every time you launch TweetDeck all these columns will be saved for you and this column social networking will only show the people that you selected in there. So there's no updates because I only chose a few people so they're not they haven't tweeted anything. To change to change something in this column, you click here. You can choose more people that you like to see their <coughs> excuse me. Like to see their tweets. Or you can also take off people if you do not want to track them in this column anymore. And you put save group. You can also delete a column right up here, the X. You can submit that. That's a very quick overview of TweetDeck. Oh, another thing I'd like to mention here is you can set up your at replies. Here it's very customizable, so you just click search again and you can set that up as well. Uh, here you can click mentions and it'll give you your mentions from that account which will be the people that are talking to you and the direct messages from that account and uh, you can set up and show your favorites that you favorited the tweets that you favorited as well so that is a quick overview of TweetDeck I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to be talking to you soon any questions let me know you can send me a message at uh, at social media MSTR and that stands for social media mastery
I'll be talking to you soon. This is Eric Vogel from Vogel Social Media.